Havana Brown Cat vs. Bombay Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Havana is distinguished by his uncommon head shape, it's longer than it is wide. The Bombay is a smart cat who loves to play and will thrive with a family who is willing to teach tricks, play games, and provide plenty of interactive toys. In 1920, the Siamese Cat Club of Britain decided that brown cats without blue eyes were no longer desirable, and that was that. Breeders lost interest in them until the 1950s, when a group of British cat breeders set themselves the task of determining the genetic makeup of a self-brown, solid-colored, cat. They eventually produced a male chestnut brown kitten, the result of a cross between a short-haired black cat and a chocolate point Siamese. Russian blues and Burmese may also have played a role in the development of what came to be known as the Havana Brown, whose only connection to Cuba is the supposed resemblance of his color to that of a fine Havana cigar. But as it turned out, according to an article in the 1982 CFA yearbook, the most successful and most often used breeding to produce a self-brown cat was between a black short hair and a seal point Siamese carrying the chocolate gene. The Havana Brown is a rare breed, so much so that his genetic diversity is threatened. It has been propped up by an outcrossing program begun in 1998, which permits the cats to be bred to unregistered black or blue domestic short hairs or certain colors of oriental short hairs or chocolate point or seal point Siamese. The kittens produced by those breedings can then be bred to Havana Browns. If those kittens have the Havana Brown coloring, they can be registered as Havana Browns. Cat breeders are an experimental lot, creating distinctive new breeds either by building on natural genetic mutations or by crossing breeds to achieve a new look color or pattern. The Bombay, named for the exotic port city of India, has no connection with the subcontinent but was created from crosses between sable Burmese and black American shorthairs to resemble a black panther in miniature. Breeder Nikki Horner of Louisville, Kentucky, is credited with developing the Bombay, starting in the late 1950s. Her goal was a sleek, shiny black cat with a muscular body and friendly temperament. British breeders achieved the same look and personality with crosses of Burmese and black domestic shorthairs. The Cat Fanciers Association gave the Bombay full recognition in 1978. Today the breed is recognized by all cat associations. To maintain their body type and coat texture, Bombays may be outcrossed to sable Burmese. The CFA also permits outcrosses to black American shorthairs, but this is rarely done because of differences in body type. The Havana Brown's distinctive color extends even to his whiskers. He is the only cat with a breed standard that spells out whisker color, brown, of course, complementing the coat color. Looking out from all that minky brown richness are vivid green eyes with an oval shape. The Havana is also distinguished by his uncommon head shape, it's longer than it is wide. Large ears tilt forward. He has a firm, muscular body covered in short, smooth fur in a rich, warm reddish brown. Kittens and young adults may have the barest hint of tabby markings, which disappear as they mature. The nose leather is brown with a rosy flush, and the paw pads are rosy brown as well. Except for his dramatic black coat, the Bombay looks much like the Burmese, but with a few physical differences such as a larger, longer body and longer legs. He has a rounded head with medium-sized ears set wide apart, eyes that range in color from gold to copper, and a straight, medium-length tail. The short, fine coat feels satiny to the touch and shines like patent leather. Although the gene for the black coat is dominant, a sable-colored kitten is sometimes born in a Bombay litter. Some associations permit these kittens to be registered as Burmese. The Bombay is a medium-sized cat, when lifted, he feels heftier than he looks. The breed develops slowly and males may not reach full size and musculature until they are 2 years old. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The rich tobacco-colored cat known as the Havana Brown may or may not be named for the addictive leaf, but the cats themselves are addictive to the people who come to know them. They are outgoing and friendly. Expect one to follow you around the house as you go about your day. Like most cats with Siamese ancestry, the Havana can be demanding and talkative, but his voice is softer and his personality more subtle. He is smart and likes the challenge of teaser and puzzle toys. When he is through playing, the affectionate Havana will happily ensconce himself on your lap. The lively and affectionate Bombay loves people and is adaptable to many different environments and lifestyles. His calm nature makes him a good apartment dweller, and he is amenable to life with other pets, although he definitely wants to be a top cat. Expect to find Bombay hogging the warmest spot in the house. That includes under the covers at bedtime. Most will converse with their people in a distinctive but not loud voice. 
Bombays are often good at playing fetch, and some have learned to walk on a leash. This is a smart cat who loves to play and will thrive with a family who is willing to teach him tricks, play games with him, and provide him with plenty of interactive toys. Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Havana Browns are generally healthy, although some may be prone to upper respiratory infections, usually when they are young. Bombays are generally healthy, although one of the genetic diseases seen in Burmese has also been seen in Bombays, craniofacial defect. Sometimes called Burmese head defect, the craniofacial abnormality is occasionally seen in newborn kittens, which may have severely deformed heads. Those kittens are euthanized, so people who are buying Bombay kittens will not encounter the problem, but breeders should research pedigrees carefully to make sure they don't breed cats who carry the gene for the defect. The Havana Brown short, smooth coat is easy to care for with a quick weekly combing. Polishing it with a chamois will make it shine. A bath is rarely necessary. The Bombay short, sleek coat is easily cared for with a few strokes of the hand or at most weekly brushing or rub down with a chamois to remove dead hair distribute skin oil and polish the coat to its gleaming best. A bath is rarely necessary. Plan to spay or neuter your Bombay at 6 to 9 months of age. It is not unheard of for Bombays to reach sexual maturity as early as 5 months of age. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a Havana Brown and Bombay cat as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Havana Browns and Bombays who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The Havana Brown is playful and smart and the outgoing Bombay can be a good friend to a child who treats them nicely. They are one of those cats who enjoys playing fetch and learning tricks, and his energy level means he won't wear out before the child does. They are happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.